I was uh, very, very much aware of, you know, that you know, resisting nationalism is an every, an everyday practice. So we were exposed, you know, every day to to the to these uh, nationalist and I would say, in the end, ethno-fascist uh, discourse, which excludes the other, which renames the other, which makes us indifferent that the other is uh, disappearing. Then I actually I started to fight these clashes, cl clashes and stresses, realizing that if I'm go if I'm if my body is going to be uh, is already undergoing these all these regional political and other cultural processes, uh, I would like to experience it, and uh, I would like to watch it how it goes, and I think at that time in ninety three ninety four, I uh, in a way I formed a kind of image of my own strategy, how am I going to survive through this old transformation, transformation and it is through uh, exposing my own body to, to these processes and making my own body and uh, the surroundings and the context that I'm living in my own research field, field study. It happened somehow that I have increased my utopian energy to survive. It means I have been producing more illusions to survive. Because without these illusions I cannot survive. And it's what gives me an energy to do that, to live, to survive, um, to think that there is some future, even if I don't know how it looks like how it should look like and uh, well it's a kind of source for this utopian imagination maybe <laughs>